Hi guys, so this is a slightly different tutorial. This is not for a particular song, but it is for the chord pattern sort of playing that I use in a lot of my videos. Now, as my subscriber count has grown, thank you so much. It's honestly like been amazing. I'm gonna stop gushing and just carry on with the, <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Um, as it's grown, loads of people recently have been asking me, what notes are you playing? Um, sort of what is the pattern that you're playing in your hand along with the songs. And because I kind of just teach the chords and not the pattern while I'm doing the tutorials, um, I've never really addressed it because I just thought um, you can just play the chords how you like. Uh, but obviously some people like the sound of what I'm playing. So I'm going to talk you through what exactly it is that I do. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. One's going to be like a faster example, and then one's going to be a slightly slower example with some bigger chords as well. So it shouldn't take long at all. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to be using um, Play Date by Melanie Martinez. A lot of you have been asking on the Melanie Martinez songs what the chord pattern is. So I think it's because it's a bit quicker and it's harder to like work out. But Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Oh God, I can't even see the notes, hold on. <laughs> the uh, tripod is so low that I'm just I'm crouching under it like a hunchback of Notre Dame. Okay, so it should sound like this. idea so what I am playing in this is so as an example say that we're using the G minor chord because that's where we are at the moment okay so if we're using G minor we want to hit all the notes that I've told you to hit in the left hand and the right hand okay then we just hit the right hand and then we hit whatever note is in our thumb Okay, so like this, and then we change, and we do exactly the same with the next chord. Okay, so it's, and then again, it's the exactly the same. So both hands, right hand, left thumb. Now, obviously, not every song will call for this, and. Um, but it is generally a, a really easy and good way to kind of pad a song out a little bit um, with the chords, if that's all, all that you're using. Um, and it can be applied to a lot of music. So, um, yeah, so let me just play it through for you again. A bit slower. Trying to make my hand movements very exaggerated so you can see exactly what's happening. Okay. Now, if we go to a song that's slightly slower, I'm going to take Freak by Lana Del Rey. Um, obviously, at the beginning of that song, you don't need that uh, those chords because it's kind of just... And you won't always need that pattern. So... Um, but let's go into the pre-chorus bit, okay? So... Okay, so you can see that it's exactly the same, but it's slightly slower and more exaggerated. So it's like this. Your hair loves for the fire. Okay, so in the bigger chords, let me take this one up here so that you can see. We're going to be taking an F minor, doesn't matter what exactly the chord is, but so when we're doing the bigger ones, it's exactly the same. So it's just both hands together, right hand, and then whatever is in your thumb, okay? So, baby, if you want to leave, come to California, be a freak like me too. Again, screw you up. music 
music. Okay, so that is basically it. And I want to keep this video nice and short so that you can go off and learn it and you're not just sitting here watching me ramble on about stuff. So to recap, it is literally all of the notes that I've told you in the left hand and the right hand, like that. Then it's the right hand, everything in the right hand and just the thumb in the left hand, okay? And then you switch unless you're staying on that chord and then you just do it again. Okay, so that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you did find it helpful. I think some of you will because you've definitely been asking about it and I know that it is confusing to try and just watch it through the videos. Um, if you did find this helpful and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, apart from that, I hope that you're well and that you enjoyed this and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Mwah!